One of the most advanced tools for DaVinci Resolve Studio Edition on iPad and on desktop is the Magic Mask. I think if you work with Magic Mask, that feature alone is worth the upgrade to the studio. And that is not now saying that you should upgrade, because in this video today I want to show you what they now improved. Since DaVinci Resolve 20 update, we got now Magic Mask version 2 with Paintbrush. And in this video I will show you an overview of how to use it. So they completely redesigned the AI that is in the background of Magic Mask. This is now a way better Magic Mask where you you can select an object and it can even follow the object if it's hidden by other objects and stuff like that. Unfortunately, especially for the iPad, it takes now more time and more resources, which could be a downside, especially if it's just a simple selection. For example, I have this video here. What if I want to select just my hand? I have this little shot here where my hand goes like this and even turns around. What if I want to select this one? Magic Mask is a studio only feature, but if you have Magic Mask, I think just for that feature alone, is the studio upgrade worth it? So Magic Mask is this one, this icon here. And it still works the same how you select stuff, but instead of brushing over it, you just need points anymore. That's that's it. So I come in here, I created a new node, and now, for example, I say here plus, and I select that point here. And then maybe I say plus again, and I select that point here. Maybe even with two points, it's enough. And to make your selection more accurate, you can do, use a couple of points, like two, three, four points. It should be enough with those two. I make another point here, so it knows this is my hand. So now my playhead is here in the middle. This clip has some left to the front and some left to the back. And I can just simply click this icon here because that means it will render forward and it will render backwards and analyze my clip. And I have to be honest, now this for example is in real time, this is just like a 10-15 second clip. You can see now it will take me around a minute 40 seconds with my iPad M1. Of course if you have a newer iPad with a newer chip in it will be faster, but this is one of the downsides of the Magic Mask that it takes now more time. A good time to just grab a coffee and then come back. Okay, when it's done you can come here to this icon here to highlight what it recognize. So and if I now scrub through my footage, you see now even with the flipping over, I still have my hand all selected. And the cool thing is now I applied the magic mask to this note here. So whatever changes I do, it will apply to this only the selected one and it will follow the tracking here and the movement. So for example, if I come into my curves and I want to make, let's undo this so I can see this. So here's my hand. Let's say for example, I want to make my hand very, very green, right? I can come in here make my hand very green and it will follow this throughout the movement. Now my hand is completely green. This is one method how you can change colors of clothing and everything just with two, three steps of clicks, waiting a bit and boom, Magic Mask does the rest and now I'm a Hulk. So this was just one of the many new features that we got with DaVinci Resolve version 20 here on the iPad. I created a complete video breaking down all of the features because there's a couple of features that you definitely should know about because they can make your editing work so much easier, so much faster. Definitely check out the video here. I will link this one here. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe. By the way, I'm Daniel and on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, I'm Daniel.